told him, Is there any way for a father of his people to behave? I shall go to Uruk and challenge this Gilgamesh. He leaped to his feet. This demon must not be allowed to trample the hearts of his own people. Soft palmed, sponge belly, city sluggard. I shall pound him into clay. King Gilgamesh was contemplating marriage. Every day he shut himself up in the temple of Ishtar, goddess of love, and the people outside could hear the slap of his sandals on the pavement. The city swarmed with panic. Rumor had it that the king would marry the terrible Ishtar herself. Then a new star swirled through the marketplace. The crowds parted for a new face, a man almost as alarming as Gilgamesh in his size and the spread of his shoulders. Hattie, the pretty little dancing girl, was with him. The crowd murmured and gasped. He is the size of Gilgamesh, shorter, yes, but thicker set. A wild man bred up with the lions. Gilgamesh came out of the temple and turned towards his mother's house. His mind was made up. He would rule and marry the goddess of love. She was the only fitting bride. And Kitty stepped out into his path. Gilgamesh, deep in thoughts of marriage, moved to go around him. And Kitty stuck out a foot and tripped him up. Gilgamesh grabbed Enkidu's arm as he fell, and pulled him down too. He was instantly enraged. 